Hi there, friends. I'll come in here with a quick note to let you know that the first global product owner summit organized by the Scrum Master Toolbox podcast is coming soon. To know more, check out the bit.ly forward slash product owner 2023. That's bit.ly forward slash product owner 2023. That's all one word, all lowercase. And uh, stick around to the end of the episode to know more. But for now, on to the show. Hi, I'm your host, Vasco Duarte. Welcome to the Scrum Master Toolbox podcast, where we share tips and tricks from Scrum Masters around the world. Every day, we bring you inspiring answers to important questions that all Scrum Masters face day after day. Hello, everybody. Welcome to our TGIF and Product Owner episode this week with Alina Taplial. Hey, Alina, welcome back. Hi, Vasco. Thank you for having me back. Absolutely. So product owner it is. It's the last episode of the week. We still have the whole episode of, ahead of us, of course. And let's dive into that. We'll talk about what a great product owner is in a minute. But before that, do share with us, Alina, what's the worst, potentially, product owner anti-pattern you've witnessed in your career? Yeah, I need to say, I was really lucky to work with one product owner so far, and he's the best. <laughs> so we'll come to him a little later in the show. So, uh, But I remember when I started all this idea, I want to be a Scrum Master. So I started talking with the friends uh, who are working in Scrum. I said, hey, guys, how it is? What is this? What is that? And we came up to, to, to the product owner. And I remember that somebody said that, Oh, our product owner is very bossy. You know, he takes decision. He doesn't include a team. At that moment, it didn't mean too much to me because I didn't know this uh, much about Scrum, you know. But now, in retrospect, uh, I would think that if the product owner would be this bossy, deciding things, deciding how big a story is, if it's, I don't know how many story points, and he's the only one taking decisions, you know, uh, I would say that would be an anti-pattern. However, we don't need to forget that this is a team. So it's the relationship between product owner and team and relationship from product owner and scrum master, which we also need to take into account when we look at these anti-patterns, you know, because now in retrospect, I'm asking myself, so how did the scrum master react when the product owner did the things that he did how did the team react did they talk this did they discuss this you know because it's not always the product owner or the scrum so we are a team and things happen in a team and everyone can influence the other ones you know so yeah absolutely and uh when we talk about product owner anti-patterns and patterns here, of course, we recognize exactly that, right? Like there's yeah. nothing that happens in isolation. Uh, and Indeed. it's not just the team and the scrum master. It's also the product owner's uh, boss or, or immediate manager. Yes. How are yes. they being treated by their boss? Are they also being treated as, you know, just do what yeah. I tell you? Or are they yeah. being encouraged to share their opinions and, and to take ownership? And this is, I think, a very important aspect as scrum masters, we need to recognize that we need to work very closely together with the product owner. Uh, I usually say that, you know, we are the Robin to their Batman, right? The product yes. owner is, is <laughs> the critical role in the Scrum framework, yes. uh, uh, which, by the way, also reminds me, we're just going to have the product owner summit coming up soon. So uh, for all of you guys interested on, on more of that, do, do check it out uh, in the show notes, productownersummit.org. And... That means that for us as a scrum master, when we recognize that the product owner role is affected by all of the people around the product owner, including us, obviously, but that means that for us as a scrum master, we need to look at the product owner as a result of a bunch of influences, not only if they are bad, but also, but also if they are good. Indeed. Right? Yeah. Like what, yeah. what are the things around a great product owner, right? Like, you yeah. know, what, what's their relationship with their with their boss, what's their relationship with their peers, right? The, the people who do the same type of work. And of course, as you said, what's their relationship with the team and the scrum master? So when you think about yourself as a scrum master, Alina, and you think about, okay, so what is my relationship with the PO and so on? Mm -hmm. Like, 
how do you analyze that for yourself as a scrum master? Am I enabling the PO to find, as you said yesterday, to find their potential? Yeah. Uh, when we started this last year, we were both new to this role. We didn't have prior, prior uh, experience, you know, and it was a really intensive exchange of knowledge. Like, read this book. I read this article, I have you done this, have you done that? Let's look at this, let's look at that. You know, it was really close relationship and it was open. I mean, I had a feeling that I can talk to the product owner and tell him my opinion without him thinking that I'm criticizes or that I'm negative. Like he, he has this ability to listen to you when you bring up a, a concern, you know, and to, to see your point of view before he will show also his point of view you know and so so we we were in this really really exchange of information uh, but the thing that i mean for me it was difficult to understand what exactly is this product on a roll you know what does it mean you know because about scrum and scrum master you have so many things out there and uh i would see him doing things say like, why is he doing that things like motivating the team you know i thought because yeah uh favor you thought my it was side. your job right <laughs> i thought it was my job you know <laughs> hey wait 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 it's my job yeah i thought it's my job you know and uh, I didn't question that, but in my mind, I said, why is he doing these things? I don't understand, you know, who is doing what? Until I read this book, um, Scrum Product Ownership from uh, by Bob Gallen, Gallen. Amazing. Like it opened my eyes and I understood, oh, that's why he has been doing this, you know? And, and I understood that both roles, they are leadership roles in team. They are both coaches they can coach and they can be coached you know and no matter how you look at this you in my opinion you always need to look at the relationship between the two of them because if the relationship between the product owner and uh scrum master is open they discuss the things they they discuss how this leadership of the whole team will take place then the whole team feels this harmony that is there because imagine you have a product owner, like as I said, an antipad and he's bossy. And in the sprint planning, the scrum master starts attacking. And then the product owner, you know, it's like a theater. It's a day. never ending spiral of doom. Yes. <laughs> and so, and actually, yeah. this is very important. The, the way that the scrum master and the PO play together yes. can totally define the success of the team or not. Yes. Yes, so that's why we concentrated a lot. We had a lot of meetings, how we do this, how we do that. And we, we decided how do we want to influence the team? What do we good do, you want, do we want to bring so in the team? As, as we're already going into that, I, I do want to explore that story of a great product owner that you teased at the start of this episode. So yeah. let's go into that. So you were reflecting on, you know, what, what What do I need to do? What does the PO need to do? How do we build a great PO scrum master relationship? So how did that go? Yeah, I mean, um, the the greatest product owner I work with is, is the one I'm working right now. And he is the one who knows the product. You know, he knows what he's talking about. You know, he has this confidence, you know, and this builds trust and which is really important in a team, you know, and when, when you talk to him, he is knowledgeable, he is open, open, he is respectful, and he has this way of involving the team in taking decisions, you know, for, for, and I think this is one of the one of the most important traits or characteristic of a product owner, because you are not alone. You are not a lone hero. Not a product owner. Not a scrum master. Not a developer. We are in a team, you know. And uh, what he's doing, he he built. Uh, he, we did a lot of workshops, like like roadmaps, like visions, like where do we see ourselves? Where where what is the product that we want to build? Uh, which stakeholders do we want to have involved? And so on and so forth. You know, he has this ability to move the team forward, you know? And 
as a scrum master, uh, you know, when you read a scrum master role in a scrum, uh, it's quite a lot there, you know, I've been asking myself, how can I do this? How can I support him? How can I, uh, um, you, you know, uh, help him in all this? And we, the, the easiest way to do is just discuss with him, you know, without making assumption, oh, he might need this or he might need that, just openly discuss with him and he he opened this door for me to be able to discuss with him the things which were important for the team and we 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 decided from there you know i really like that idea that point of the product owner being open to discuss what's important for the team and very often, and because that's how the Scrum Guide is organized, and that's how, you know, what we talk about, how we talk about Scrum. Very often, we talk about the Scrum Master and the Product Owner role. And uh, we forget that the only reason why the Scrum Master and Product Owner roles were created in Scrum was because they helped the team succeed. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, of course, the, the, what, what does success mean for the team? That's something we can discuss. But, but the point is that the product owner isn't there to be a great product owner. The product owner is there to help the team succeed. And the Scrum yeah. Master the same, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and sometimes that means the product owner needs to help the Scrum Master. The Scrum Master needs to help the product owner. And when we are receptive to that, when the product owner is receptive to us and us to the product owner, when we are receptive to that, we can actually find a way. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I'm, I'm really the, the most likeliest person, Scrum Master, <laughs> on the face of the earth because I have a great team, I have a great product owner, and we we work well together. Sure, there are a lot of things which, which is still need to improve, like because that's what Scrum is about: improving, improving, improving. You know, but you have these basics there, you know, and you can work upon them. Yeah. Absolutely. And when you think about it, that's all that is needed, right? You have the basics there and then you just keep on improving forever, yeah. right? Yeah. And, and if everybody yeah. in the system is okay with that, right? Yeah. No matter how good we are now, we will be better tomorrow. Even Absolutely. if it's just a little bit, if we have this perspective, then we are definitely ready to to get to that point where everybody reaches their potential, as you said yesterday. And of course, this means having success that goes beyond our own imagination, right? And, and that's yeah. how I like to define success for me as a scrum master, which is to help teams do things that even they think are impossible. Yeah, absolutely. Well said. <laughs> Alina, it's been a pleasure. Thank you very much for sharing all of these insights and knowledge and experience during the week. Uh, but before we go, do share with us, where can people find out more about you and the work that you're doing? Yeah, uh, they can find me on LinkedIn. I am there quite uh, quite active lately because I want to go out of this comfort zone, <laughs> and I'm uh, I'm on LinkedIn. Yes. Absolutely. We'll put the link on the show notes so that people can find Alina. And uh, why not ask some follow up questions, suggest some new books and ideas? I'm yes. sure she's going to be open to those as well. <laughs> Absolutely. Alina, it's been a pleasure. Thank you very much for your generosity with your time and your knowledge. Uh, thank you to you because you gave me this opportunity to, to come and share my, my story. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Vasco. Hi there, Agile friends. Thank you for sticking around. This year's first global summit dedicated to the product owner role in Scrum will have some amazing keynotes and two tracks filled with first-hand stories and experiences for product owners to learn more about that critical Scrum role. We'll have Roman Pichler, author and product expert, who'll be answering your questions and sharing the most important aspects of the product owner role. We'll also have Colleen Johnson talking about why roadmaps are probably making your life much harder than it needs to be and uh, what to do instead. This talk was quite a success in Agile Online Summit 2022 and Colleen has learned some new tricks, tools, techniques that she will share with us when it comes to roadmaps for the product owner role. And we will also have Henry Niberi, author of Scrum and Kanban from the Trenches, as well as one of the creators of the Spotify model. So come in and listen to his stories. And uh, we'll also have, of course, two tracks with uh, many more sessions and even some live sessions. The two tracks will cover practices every product owner should know 
uh, where we'll be hosting conversations on topics that product owners need to be familiar with, like product re backlog refinement, planning, and much more. The second track will be on metrics, measuring product and personal success as a product owner. As product owners, it's crucial to have a clear understanding of what are the metrics that drive success for us and, of course, also for the products and businesses that we work with. And we need to continuously measure and optimize those metrics. So in this track, we'll be sharing what's working and what's not in the area of measuring success for product owners. We will also have the opportunity to network with our peers. It's a network event, of course. So get your tickets and join our Slack. Go to uh, bit.ly forward slash product owner 2023. That's all one word, all lowercase. As always, we will have free tickets and VIP tickets, which will give you long term access to the content of this summit. So check them out at bit.ly forward slash product owner 2023, all lowercase, all one word. I'll see you on the summit floor.